Hi everyone, Christy from the Hypothesis team here, and in today's video, I want to talk about using your learning management system's small groups function with your hypothesis annotation assignments. So the default setting is that everyone in your class, all of the students, will see each other's annotations in a particular hypothesis-enabled reading. But if you have a large class or a short document, sometimes the annotations can get a little bit crowded and there can be lots of highlights in the document, which some people find distracting. Some instructors also prefer that their students work in small groups or small teams throughout the term. There's an easy way to set this up within Hypothesis, and it's using your learning management system's group features. So whether you're using Brightspace, Moodle, Blackboard, or Canvas, you can use the group set or the groupings feature, depending on what your learning management system calls it, to create your student groups. And then when you create your hypothesis-enabled readings, you can select that group set and you'll automatically be given a reading with multiple annotation spaces for each of the groups. As the instructor, you'll be able to see and toggle between each annotation space and see the conversations that each separate group is having. However, the student will only be able to access the annotations that they and their group members are making. So there are fewer annotations for them to wade through and fewer highlights happening on the document. This is ideal, again, if you have a large class or even if you just wanna break students up into groups of five or 10. You can find out more about our group features and how they work in each of the learning management systems in the link below. Hope this was helpful and see you next week.